about the process performance PP and PPK. In the last lesson, we considered the potential capability of the part manufacturing process used at ABC company. We collected subgroups of size 5 every hour for 20 hours. The calculation of CP and CPK used variation within uh, each of the 20 subgroups to estimate capability. In addition to CP and CPK, the potential capability indices, we can calculate process performance indices. These process performance indices donated uh, PP and PPK uses the overall uh, variation in the sample data rather than the uh, within subgroup variation. The only mathematical difference between the process performance and the potential capability indices is how sigma is estimated. PP and PPK are calculated using an overall estimate of sigma. To estimate the overall sigma, we'll ignore the subgrouping scheme and instead uh, pull all 100 pass diameter values together and calculate their standard deviation. Recall that CP and CPK, uh, uh, the potential capability, uses a within subgroup estimate of sigma in its calculation of uh, process spread, ignoring uh, uh, variability between subgroups. CP and CPK tell us how good the process could be if all instability were removed from the process. PP and PPK use an overall estimate of sigma in their calculation, which includes both uh, within and between subgroup variation. The estimate of sigma is the variation for all part diameters, ignoring the fact that the data consists of multiple samples. So this index reports the actual performance of the process, not just how good the process could be. Although the difference between potential capability and process performance may seem minor, they can vary if the process is not in statistical control. Here are the process performance indices for the part data. The overall capability indices are called uh, process performance because they describe the actual performance of the process for this process. PP is 1.47 and PPK is 1.45. This indicates that the process is capable of meeting specifications. But keep in mind a key assumption for capa uh, capability studies, uh, the stabil uh, stability over time. When a process is in a statistical control, the variation between subgroup uh, is very small, almost zero. The Archak uh, the Archak uh, assesses within subgroup variation, while the Archak uh, assesses uh, variation between subgroups. The Archak is uh, in state of statistical control, indicating that there is no uh, there is not a significant amount of variation between groups of part diameters. In that case, the process performance indices will be almost identical to the potential capabilities. This process is in control, so it makes sense that the potential or within subgroup capabilities are very similar to the process performance or overall capability indices. Uh, let's review. PP and PPK represent uh, the actual performance of our Azure process, uh, incorporating all within and between subgroup variation. The only difference between CP and CPK and PP and PPK is the way sigma is calculated, CPK and CPK use within subgroup variation and PP and PPK use both within and between 
subgroup variation. When a process is in statistical control, CP and PPK are similar as are CP and PPK. Thank you for your listening. In the next lesson, we'll talk about the sigma level.